Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland from Graphic in Motion. In this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my latest template called the Floating 3D Letters Intro. So before I start customizing, please be aware that to use this template you will need two plugins. The first one you will need is the Trapcode Particular version 2 plugin and the second one is Optical Flares from Video Copilot. So if you own these two plugins then you are good to go and I will show you how to quickly customize the template. The first step is just to import the logo, therefore you just move to the logo composition. You can find it here in your timeline windows or you also can find it up here in the project window and then we just go to file import file and I will just choose my Graphic in Motion logo and drag it on top of the placeholder. Now I press S to reveal the scale value and I will just scale it approximately the same size as my placeholder and now I will just move it into the right position say like this I will disable my placeholder or I can also delete it and now I just want to edit my subtitle here and I will just enter my web address therefore I just double click the text layer here and type in www graphic oops graphic in motion .com. and now I want to change the size of the font so I go to my character window and just decrease the value here so that it fits approximately let's say 71 is a fine value and move it a little bit upwards and I want to change the color of my title because I want the title to be black as the font in my logo therefore I just choose my set to black value here and now you can see I have a black subtitle if we move on to my render composition, we can check out the final outcome. You see that I can still see my black subtitle because of the bevel and emboss that I put on this logo layer. The next thing that we can do is to enter our slogan or title or name or whatever we want to enter here. Therefore, you just move to the render composition and then you search the green layer which says enter your slogan here and you double click this layer and be careful to move your cursor to a frame where the slogan is already visible because if you are here in the beginning the slogan is not visible now the letters are still flying around somewhere in the space here so move to about I don't know frame 205 or something like this now we double click the enter your slogan here layer and I will enter some awesome slogan here wow that's really very senseless but for now it should be fine and of course if you don't like the font I chose which is called Gotha and I also included a download link in the items description and in the download folder so this is a free font but you can of course change it to any font you like Let's say just as an example, I want to change this to Arial. So I will just select my layer again and type in Arial in the character window. And I want this to be bold and I want this only to use capital letters. And if I take a look at my animation now, you will see that, okay, now my title letters are Arial and they are flying around here between the other letters, which still are set to Gota. So I will show you how you can change this. Therefore, you just have to enter the letter source composition. You can find it down here, or it should be already open. So just enter the letter source composition. And here you see that we have the whole alphabet from A to Z in a row. And we want to change the font for all these layers. Therefore, I just select my first layer, the A, move down to the Z, hold down Shift and select the Z layer. Now all the layers are selected and now I just can type in Arial and I can choose my bold option and now you just have to check whether the size of the letters is still okay so they shouldn't be too small they should not, and they should not be too big 
if they are too small or too big for the composition then just adjust the value the size value here but this is pretty good so i can move back to my render composition again and now you can see that all the letters flying around are now aerial of course when we take a look at the logo reveal the subtitle still is in gota because i didn't change this but you know of course you can change this too not airport i want to have aerial yep. and i want to have the aerial bold and now i have to change the size again because it, now it's too small and now i'm good to go so now i changed the whole font style to aerial and of course you can choose any font you like okay the next thing i want to show you is how to change from our more or less neutral background and floor to this awesome 3d tracked footage that you saw in the preview video this is very easy therefore you just enter the render composition and here at the bottom you see there is a layer called floor and a layer called bg which stands for background and you just disable both of these layers and now below these two layers you can find the footage composition and you just want to enable this footage composition and now instead of our more or less neutral background and floor we have this urban graffiti bridge style footage some of you may notice this bridge and know it already because i also used this background for my logo power twister template so if you want to check this out just visit my profile or my homepage. but instead of just a still photo i really took a shot which i filmed with my camera and then just motion tracked the whole scene to match the camera to match the particles to match the lights i put in some lights and some flares so that we have a more or less perfectly recreated virtual scene here and so that the particles which are floating around in our scene also are influenced by the lights in my footage another tip be aware that it's not so easy just to change the footage here if you say okay i just want to put in my own photo here it would be possible but therefore you would have to uh, import your photo then you can replace it with the footage composition and set it to 3d then move it to a far distance in set space and then probably the whole light setup will not match anymore so if you are not really skilled and if you don't want to spend a little bit of time I would not recommend to do it but if you have some skills in after effects and you want to play around a little bit with this setting with this setup you can of course uh, give it a try and i'm always interested in final products that are created with my templates but before we are thinking about stuff like this i will just show you how you can change the style so let's say if you don't like the whole color scene here it's kind of a bluish setting with this more or less warm light coming in from the right here and probably or maybe you want to change the settings so it's pretty easy if you are in our neutral background and floor because you know here you can really change all the colors and everything will just react so maybe this is the first thing i show you so let's say you don't want these lights here to be blue you want them to be i don't know red or pink therefore you just have to press the hide all button here and if you press this you see that there are lots of lights in the scene a quick explanation the cold lights represent the four lights here which are all set to blue and two of them have a flare on it and the two that have a flare on it are called light cold these are the two flare lights so if i disable them you can see that my flares disappear because the flares are linked to these lights then i also have four warm lights here that are set uh, to the side here and there is only one linked with a flare and this is the a warm so if i disable this the flare is gone so if you want to change the color of the cold lights so just select all of the cold lights and then press aa to reveal the light options 
and let's say we want to change the color from these lights from the blue to kind of a purple okay and you will see that the light and also the flare colors change and now maybe you want to change the light for the warm lights too so we select all of them and press AA to reveal the options and now I want to take these to a kind of a slightly bluish greenish color or whatever you know I'm just giving you an example you can see that it doesn't really fit my logo but what you also can see is that all the particles and the floor and the flares react to the new color settings so it's very easy to stylize this template and you also can of course change the color from the particles and to change the color from the particles or from the letters i should say you just have to enter the letter source composition again and let's say that we want to make half of the letters in another color so i just select my first letter a and hold down shift and select the m and then i can just in my character window change the color to some green I press ok and now you see that these are green and these are white you can of course mix the colors take different fonts whatever and if you go back to our render comp you'll see that half of our letters are now green so what if you want to change the color settings for the footage background and not this neutral background therefore we just change back to our footage so enable the footage layer and disable the floor and the background and now we are back in our tracked footage and you can see well now this doesn't oops sorry now this doesn't fit very well you know our scene is still blue and the light is is uh, purple and this light is green so what we can do here is that you just select the footage and we have a hue and saturation control on this layer and now you could just probably maybe you can just decrease the saturation so now it looks kind of better but what you also could do is just try to to change the master hue and and, and try to get it to something that looks right to you but you see that this is not so easy because you can get some really weird results here in fact if i lower the master saturation it looks kind of good in this case so you see that it is still possible to create a really unique look also with the 3d tracked footage background Okay, now I hope that I didn't forget anything important to tell you. If you have any more problems uh, with customizing the template or questions, just feel free and drop me a mail through my Video Hive profile or just through my homepage, which is www.graphicinmotion.com. And I hope that you like the template, have fun with it, create some really nice animations, and I would be glad to see you again soon. Thank you very much and goodbye.